If you're debating between selling your current home versus turning it into a rental, this message is for you. My name is Tom Lux of Whistle Realty Group. And today I wanna to kinda of go over the options you have. If you're thinking of moving out of your current home, do you sell it and cash in? Or do you rent it? All right, let's discuss these. Let's say, let's talk about the renting phase first of all. If you're gonna rent your home, there's a huge issue that is often overlooked. And that is, there's a ton of expenses when it comes to renting your home. Those expenses are property taxes, insurance, maintenance, vacancy, repairs, things like this. Current studies show that those add up to 40%, four zero. Now, think about that that is gonna come off your rental income. So let's play this out a little bit. Let's say that you're gonna rent your home for $5,000 a month and your mortgage is $4,000 a month. You might be thinking, well, I'm gonna make $1,000 a month. No, you're not. You're gonna be losing money. Let's back up a little bit. The $5,000 a month that you're gonna charge in rent, you gotta take 40% off that for your expenses. That's $2,000. So now your $5,000 is really $3,000 and you're charging your mortgages $4,000. You're losing $1,000 every month. I don't know about you, but I don't know if I really wanna hang on to an asset that's costing me that much money. Maybe you do. But also consider this, you now have tenants. You're a landlord and in California, it's very favorable to tenants and not so much landlords. So do you really want to deal with tenants, toilets, trash, and God forbid, let's say that you have to evict your tenants, okay? That's a month long, monthly process that costs thousands of dollars. Oh, and by the way, you're not getting paid during the months that you're going through this. So let's look at the other alternative. Now, if you decide to sell your home, this, there are few times in life where you can actually take advantage of Uncle Sam. Let me play that out for you. If you have lived in your home two of the last five years, you, this is your primary residence, and then you turn around and sell that home, you can take the two, first $250,000 of capital gains if you're single and 500,000 if you're married tax free. You won't pay a nickel on that. You can do whatever you want with that money. You can stick it in your pocket. You can go blow it to the casino. You can buy a boat, that's cool. You can travel the world, that's cool. You can do whatever you want. So when it comes to weighing these options, really gotta think about these. Option A is to rent your home, decide what you're gonna rent it at, take 40% off for expenses, determine, uh, obviously you know what your mortgage is, and let's be clear here, that's including principal interest, and then come up with your total. Or you can sell that home and get up to half a million dollars tax-free. So option A, option B, depends on what you want. But if you'd like more information on which option best suits you, call or text me below. I'm Tom Alex of Whistle Realty, and who represents you matters.